I've seen babies come in and just just zoom out of here. She's she's been here a while. Ooh, she had a drain put in. I think she was two or three weeks old because they could tell that her bowel was about to perforate. And then she had to um, get a colostomy when she was a couple weeks older than that. So by the time she was two months old, she'd had a couple of serious surgeries already. So by the time she's three months old, she'll have three surgeries, you know, her eyes and two on her stomach. So, but hopefully that's it. I think we might have one more surgery to go when we fix her stomach, and hopefully that's it. Our main responsibility is the patient itself, but then you have to, you know, you, you have to find a way to um, kind of step back, let the parents have some kind of control in that, and that's kind of hard for them because, you know, you used to run your life, you know, you know how to take care of everything, but the normal baby, you get home and you, you do all that. When here, Sometimes it's very limited what you can do. You may only be able to take a temperature or change a diaper or just hold their hand or, you know, um, we burn calories talking, moving. They're burning calories that they would not have had to do inside mom. They're still developing. You know, their, their neural system is not developed yet. You know, that's different things. So there's, we're still having to mimic mom's womb outside of it. She'll be here three months on Thursday and then she won't be home for Thanksgiving, but maybe for Christmas. Yeah. Let's see if you want your noonie. You want it? Nope. She doesn't want it. Hey. <laughs> it's okay. And she can grab your finger real good now, too. Hey. 